Do a video today to show you how to fit the LED welcome lights to the Land Rover Discovery 3. So this is a new product we've got and um, basically it comes with an app that's on Android or iPhone and you can change the colour and also you can do like some funky um, pulsy stuff but we're going to link it to the welcome lights on our Land Rover Discovery 3 so when you unlock the door we're going to, here it is here, we're going to get a little light going on. We'll put a demo of it um, up here so that you can click and see the demo but this is more the mechanical fit in how to do it, what you get in the pack so you get oh, in the pack you get the instructions you get a big box with some other boxes inside and you've got four LEDs and these are RGB multicolor LEDs on a solid aluminium heatsink casing you've got the wire comes out the back like so and then you've got these plugs, there's a four-way plug there. Um, so you've got four of those, all with the same length of wire coming out of them. And then they connect onto these waterproof connectors, which go to the control pack, which communicates wirelessly. Is it wireless or Bluetooth? Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Bluetooth to your phone. And then it comes through. And all we need to do is connect this negative here to the earth and the positive to our feed of our welcome light okay so that's what we've got to do and we'll go through where the wires are and how to do that also in the pack you get these rubbers so for each light you get two mounting blocks so this is you can see a flat rubber mounting block and then let me just kill my phone he says okay and um, what you can do is the um, you'll notice that you've got two two outputs. You can go at this sort of out at the 12 o'clock position I'm holding it or out at the 2 o'clock position as I'm holding it. This channel that doesn't go out is actually where the wire out the back of the heat sink goes. So if you're going to mount them, you can... There you go. You mount it like that and then when you put the rubber over it... Okay, you can see there that as I flip that down it encases the rubber. So what it allows you to do is get the rubber, it's like a surface mount adapter but we're not going to need that on the Discovery, I'll show you how we're going to fit that. There are also some nuts and bolts, we're not going to need those. We've added to the kit some cable ties and these self tapping screws that you need to fix them. Right, what tools are you going to need to do the job? Um, so we're going to screwdriver for the self tappers, a drill to drill some small holes to attach the cable ties to. 13 mil, 13 millimeter drill for drilling the holes for the wire to go out the back of the light. The set, this is a more a rarer thing, a 17 millimeter drill to drill the hole up into the center console to get the wires into the center console. And then we've got one of these trim removing tools just to remove the clips on the underside of the seals because that's where we're going to route the cables and a drill. Right, so where's it all going to go? How's it going to... I've got one of the lights resting there. Do you want to just hold that a bit straight in? So we've decided to mount them there. So we're going to mount them on the sill. And if you pull that forward a bit in, you can see we've just got the wire going straight into the sill. So there'll be no exposed, and it's just a plastic sill trim, so we're not damaging the car in any way. So we're going to mount one here at the back to illuminate the barrier for the rear passengers. We're going to put one under the middle to illuminate the floor for people getting in the front of the car. Right, where else are we going to? We're going to actually put the main control module, this little bit here, we're going to put in the centre console. We're going to drill a hole down through the base of the centre console to get the wires out underneath. And we're going to connect the feed to the courtesy light that is under there in the footwell. So feed to the control box, control box out through the bottom of the car and then four ways each to the seals. So that's what we're going to do. Right, let's start. We're going to do this sort of backwards. We're going to start at the end where the, um, where the lights are going. So the first thing we need to do is decide where they're going to go and drill a 13 millimetre drill hole for the lights to go through. So if we go and have a look underneath, okay, what, what you'll see underneath is you've got these poppers. Actually, do you want to pass me the uh, 
And what you can do with these poppers, I've half got these out to make it look a bit easier than it, it really is. You've got a middle bit of a popper that you can pull out. Okay. And then you've got this, you see there are that two parts. Often you won't get the two parts out. Do you want to come and grab the camera in? Okay. So often you won't get the two, often you'll, you'll pull that middle bit out and you'll be left with that bit in the car and then you'll need to get the, the tool up and pull that one out as well. So if you pull these out, what, what it allows you to do, and then grab down under the car, yeah, whatever, little hook, is you can, we can, what we can do is we can pull this seal down enough just to uh, root the wire behind and then put the, put the, um, the seal back up again, pop it back up. So just if we get all these poppered off, right. And what I suggest you do is mount the unit midway between two of the holes because it gives you just a little bit more flex when we want to drill it. So, so what I've got here is just one of these 13 millimeter drills and we're going to mount the unit on this. There's a sort of chamfered. It comes flat, then there's a bend and another flat. We're going to mount it in here. Now you could precise. Okay. Okay, that's all that needs through there. And then what we can do is we can feed this end through the hole there. Okay, catch him underneath. Okay, now all four have got the same, I think I already said, didn't I? They've all got the same length of wire. We can feed that through there. Now I've chosen not to use the rubber mountings, but you could use the rubber mountings. There's enough thickness in that sill to get that there. And then I'm just gonna self-tapper that in place. So let me just go and grab the screws and I'll self-tapper that one. Okay, so I've, I've put one in just to make it a bit quicker for the video. And you shouldn't need to pre-drill these. You should just be able to... Okay, so that's that mounted and that's the cable. Now I'm gonna route the cable Okay, now I don't see, ah, point to note, we've put the suspension in high mode. So before you start doing this job, raise your suspension up into the highest mode. Because um, that will give you a bit more room to work underneath unless you've got the privilege of a jack. What I'm doing is I'm coming along all the way to the, to the middle. And what I'm going to root it, where am I going to root it? I'm behind this, on this side I've got the air tank, shall I grab the camera in rather than people looking at me? Right. So I've come along here, um, we've got the back of the air tank, and as we come up over, we've got the heat shield, and I'm going to go over the top of the heat shield, and then we're going to go up into the centre console. So that's where I'm going to go, and what I've done is I've drilled a few little holes around the edge of the heat shield, along here, so that I can cable tie it above the heat shield, but just round the edge. What, and then the other one is going to come from, from the seal along, and then they're both going to come out in the middle here, and then they're going to go over the chassis, sorry, up over the chassis, over the heat shield, and then up into the middle. So you, you'll see it when you're under the car, it'll make more sense. And maybe Ian just show you a bit from, from that angle, just so you can see where it's going. So you're under the car. So you've come to the back of the air tank there. Yeah, back of the so air that tank. Wire is over there. the chassis is going to go, and it's going to come around the top of the thing. So this is the rear. This is the rear silencer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Middle box. Yeah. Middle box. Yeah. So we're just in front Which of the middle box. Which is dead in line with your door shut. So I'll route the those. the back of the driver's door. Right, we'll route those now and we'll come and join you later. So here we are underneath my Land Rover Discovery Free. Um, and we're now on the right hand side, the driver's side. Um, what we've done is we've come out a little bit further forward there. You can see the two wires there. And we've come out in line with this front cross member. And what we've done is we've threaded it over the chassis, up over the top in there. And then we've got this, uh, the fuel tank. So what we've done is we've, we've actually just passed the cables over the top of the fuel tank and come out here next to the end of the gearbox and we pulled it tight and it's just found its own way over the top of the gearbox and there's a handy little clip on the top of the fuel tank there got no idea and we're going to be going up just up the top there so what we've got now if i come out under the car is we have 
four cables all dangling down here in the middle all ready to be connected up into the inside so we'll go and start on the inside now and show you how to do so that so now what we've got to do is we're going to put the module underneath the gearbox here so we're going to have a go at getting this lifting this little bit off here okay so you can lift this off at the front a little bit and um, there's a little bit of plastic that sort of gets a bit stuck and what we're going to do is just pull this back this back corner gets a bit stuck but we just give him a little wiggle there we go out he comes, he's out. To make it a bit easier, we can lift the gear knob. If you press the button and lift straight up. One, two, three. There. That pulls that off. Right now, how much clearance have we got to get this out here? What's it getting stuck on here? Oh, there we go. We can just wriggle that out. So it's this little front bit here that gets caught. So just be careful. So don't go pulling it as hard as you can. And we've got cables connected under here. But well, I don't think we need to worry too much about those. Right, where's that little light in? You want to grab me the light and I'll show you what we've got to... Um, and then we need to drill a hole in there, down the bottom. So I'll show you how to do that. We'll get on and do that next. So with the gear cover removed, this is the main bit of wiring we've got to put in. Now, what we've decided to do is there's enough room down the side of the gear linkage to tuck the box and all this wiring all in there out of the way um, but obviously we've got to get the signals for the lights these four to the outside so what we're going to do is we're going to drill through the the, uh, the top here so if you look down we've got a nice flat area to the side here that comes up high in the car so you'd have to be going pretty deep in water and also it's behind all the engine and everything so it's well out the way um, we're going to drill through um, it's going to be, we'll let you know, we, we haven't tried this yet, but I think it's going to be a 14 or a 15 millimetre drill. And we might even put one with the kit, because you're kind of going to need it. Um, so can you get the location there, Ian? So you've got a little hole here that's not used at the end of my drill. We're not going there, we're going slightly forward to that. There's plenty of room underneath and there's no wiring or anything that I could see. So we're going to try... So you go through a sort of rubber bit first, and then you hit the aluminium, which should be fairly easy to drill through. Careful, you don't. I need a longer drill bit there. Right, I'll drill a bit more. You push that to the side of it. Right, so as Simon's drilled through from the top, um, this is your prop shaft here. You should have all your cables somewhere nearby, wherever we are, and your hole should come through right up there, out from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and pass all of the cables through one at a time and poke them up through that hole that we've just made. But it should come out inside the car. There we go, there's the first one up in there. And the second one. This is why we need to drill such a big hole, because you need to feed all four of these up through. Make sure you don't go wrapping around the prop or anything. So the ones on the on your driver's side here, over your fuel tank, need to go up over the top and stay close to the bodywork and we'll try and keep them cable tied up out the way if we can. So we've got four of these coming up through the inside of the centre console now. So they should only go together one way I'm hoping. Now, is there a way of telling yeah, do you reckon there's, there's a little Oh yeah there's there. a little look, there's a little slot in there and there's a little pin in there. So if you get it right, oh, there you go, look at that. So you want to make sure they go together fully like that before you spin the little sealy cap on. There you go. Right, so I'll get all those clipped up and then we've got to connect, and we've got to connect these wires here to the interior light. So we've got the control box in and we've 
We've had to extend it. We'll put a little bit of cable extra meter of cable in. Um, and we can pull that through out the bottom there. We'll worry about rooting that later, but just get most of that out. Get it through if we can. Through the, that's it. Right, and then keep going. And then I can lose that module. There we go. That module, can, there's loads of room on the under there. Right, and then what I've got to do is tuck all these wires in down where we've drilled our hole. If you're super keen and you You've go... got room at the back there. Is there room at the back? Yeah, not there's, loads, there's loads of room in there. We'll go, we'll go in there. Now, obviously, we do have a hole, so if you go super deep wading, you have got a hole there. You could put silicon around it, but it's so high up, you really would have to be going out your way to, to get to get any water. It's be coming in your door, hasn't it's everything, be... isn't it? Right, now let's get that over the gear knob. Where's the gear knob gone? Gear stick, even. Right, how are we looking, mate? Where have we got? We've need got... to drop the front end in first. First, but... yeah, I'm just worried about that. He's sort of not pushing down. Right, there you go. Go and get that front end in first, dear. It's got a little bit of flex in it. Right, and then... And push that back edge in. That's it. Right. Clap that in. Do that in. Right, so we're all back together there. Loads of goodness there. And then we've just got to connect that, so we'll... We'll get on now and work out how to connect that up to the, connect this wire here, route him round and connect him into that welcome light. So we, we need to get this panel out here. Um, so we pull on this bit of carpeted stuff here, Ian reckon. There we go, there's a clip there. And that brings, gosh, that whole. Yeah, so you, that, those wires at the back there. There you go, on. yeah, okay. So that's that out, let's have a look at that. So that's that little panel there, and that's the spring clip that holds them in. And this end tucks in under there. Then what we can do is route this cable up under, just pull that up, and he'll, he'll route up under there, won't he? There he goes. That's up under there. Behind there, I'm gonna coil, coil it behind that other bit of wire there. All right. And then what we've got to do is connect it on to the back of these two. So we're going to do that, we're going to solder that, we're just going to trim those two back and we're going to connect the negative to the black wire and the positive to the purple wire and we'll give that a go. So we've soldered the wires and taped those up onto the back of the welcome light. Ian's just going to... So you've got to plug that back in. Isn't yeah, it? plug that into the asset. Plug the light back in. Bingo, careful you don't pull it too much. That's it. Clip that up there. So I get that left hand corner in. Now obviously if you're one of our American friends and you've got a left hand drive car, it'll be slightly different. But I'm sure you can, with the help of this video, work it out. And this should be pretty similar on a Range Rover Sport. We'll probably do the same on the Range Rover Sport, but it should be pretty much the same. So we'll We'll get that back in. Right, so while Ian puts that back in, what we've done is we've downloaded the app on a phone. So we've gone on to the app store, the instructions are all on there. Let me just log into my phone here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you get this display up, okay? So we'll have a go now. In fact, we'll do a separate video doing how to control it with the phone. But we'll keep that separate and we'll show you some of the tricks when we've worked it out. So that ends the installation video. That's everything. That's everything. That's all all done. So good luck with that. So we'll do a demo video and we'll do a we'll do a, a sort of programming and adjusting the settings video. We'll put the link up there. Good luck.